All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing today? We're back uh, doing some patch 14.7 notes with Drew Brew. What's up, Drew? Not much. Uh, I'm liking these cheese themed skins I see here on, yeah, on the banner. That, like Doritos or something? I just noticed that actually. <laughs> I don't know which one. I think it's nachos. Zach. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because nice. I think he's like nacho, nacho cheese Zach. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, like some yeah, jalapenos yeah. or something there as well, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, cool. But yeah, let's jump into patch 14.7. That's all patch notes. We just analyzed the yeah, cheese skins. And, yeah, I mean, the here. skins are the main part of the patch here, so. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, little highlights there. Uh, it looks like the Skarner VGU is going to be coming out. And you got all yep. the stuff you can check out if you want. Uh, it looks pretty interesting. Um, what do you think about the new Skarner from what you've seen? <laughs> um, I think his... I mean, his alt seems very powerful, being able to grab three people, but... I actually think like uh, that ability. I think is E that lets him go through the walls and does, yeah. do, like that's that that's crazy. like the most crazy part to me. I so, think so it'll yeah. be it'll be pretty interesting to see on the riff. Yeah, for sure. I keep forgetting what his W does. It's like an A. It's like a Jarvan W, right? Basically, but it's like a little yeah, different. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I then, think so. Yeah. Q looks pretty interesting too, honestly. So we'll yeah, have to see. Yeah. We but will yeah, see. Um, looks like they're depreciating shop.riotgames.com. Their online shopping uh, shopping site means RP purchases will no longer be purchased on the site, available on the site and stuff. Uh, uh, so you just have to use. I didn't even know you could get RP anywhere yeah, I didn't know outside any of that the client. Stuff happened, but cool. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> all right, and then uh, DirectX nine depreciation as well. So it looks like they're currently targeting fourteen point nine for this, but uh, yeah, obviously They've most people have been talking about it for yeah. yeah. I think most people have like 11 or something nowadays, right? Mm -hmm, something mm -hmm. like that. All right, uh, jumping in. You want to start us off or should I? Oh, I'm not going to do Camille. Let's see what Camille's got going on. All right. Uh, so Camille has been in a sad state in the top lane. Yeah, I actually haven't seen too many uh, Camilles. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's because the wall changes make her a little bit, a little bit janky. So um, they are giving her more movement speed on her Q, the bonus movement speed. So it's going from 30 to 40 percent to 30 to 50 percent, um, and then the cooldown is also uh, coming down by a full second at max rank um, and a little bit over, basically all the middle ranks. So uh, Q buffs, W buffs as well. Um, percent max health damage is up by looks like a full percent every rank. So that's pretty good. Um, percent max health. And then yeah, Hookshot, uh, what does we got with Hookshot? Hookshot is actually doing less damage, it looks like, uh, per level. Actually, a good amount less damage. Uh, and yeah, it looks like support Camille, they were saying, no, no. <laughs> yeah, everyone maxes no. I think, yep. on support, so yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I, I got no problems with these. I think it's good. Um, I think top lane Camille wasn't really using E for damage. It was more like mobility so this feels yeah this feels like a good buff yeah definitely i forget what freak said i think i watched some of his uh preview for this patch and he said something like I, ca I can't remember exactly what it was but i think it was something like either you should be maxing e anyway or or like i don't know you're supposed to be maxing e or something so yeah. maybe you're supposed to only put like one point in this guy for a little while i don't know if that's just for support or if it was for your top as well but yeah definitely some nice buffs there <laughs> all right Moving on, we got Fiora. Uh, base stats looks like attack damage is going down by two there, so she's a little bit too strong it looks like in early games. So nice little touch to her. I'm fine with it. Yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> More Galio changes. They uh, they keep trying to make Galio a thing. Wow. You remember, like even going like I feel like ever since we started doing these patch notes, they've been putting buffs in here and there. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, so they definitely want Galio to be a thing. So let's see. Uh, they are increasing the magic damage percent on his passive the ap ratio so it's 45 percent instead of 40. um they are on the w the magic reduction uh is 25 to 45 percent instead of 20 to 40 so they gave back uh some more scaling in terms of magic reduction as you rank up the w so that's pretty good and then his e 
Justice Punch, it is put back some raw damage. It used to be 75 to 235. Now it is 90 uh, to 250. And I don't think you... Um, I don't think you max E first ever. I'm no. pretty sure you don't. So that 70, like getting 90 damage right at rank one is, is pretty good. Um, that feels good. Yeah, definitely. And then um, I, I'm pretty sure it's like supposed to be QW usually, but I guess I think if so. you're going yeah. full damage, you might do QE. I'm not sure. But there you go. Pretty nice. Um, more buff room. <laughs> yeah. Karma. All right. Uh, w, focused resolve. Root duration is was 1.4 to two seconds and now it is 1.6 to two seconds and then a little bit up at every rank um basically early uh until the final duration that's pretty pretty normal i think i don't think it's a big deal but definitely nice for her and then <clears throat> our mantra the r plus e aoe shield um looks like it was based on e and r ranks Yep. And had a 31.5% AP ratio. Now it has 40.5%. 40, 40. And it scales up uh, based on our ranks only uh, from 45 to 153. So a little bit better early on and a little bit better late as well. But yeah, it just scales uh, a little bit differently. And then yep. it says note move speed and single target shield are unchanged as well. So there you go. Cool, cool, yep. cool. They keep trying to make a shield karma the best option. So yeah, great. support, I guess. Yep, so, yep, yep. yep. Uh, Kane, looks like uh, some more changes here. So they're giving him... They did hit Shadow Kane last time, I remember. So mm -hmm. they're giving you uh, Reaping Slash 5% bonus AD into the uh, the kit overall. Wow. Um, and I'm trying to see, maybe they say in the description um yeah okay so this impacts both i was just trying to see if it was on one form over the other so it'll yeah, it'll be sure. a slight buff to both canes cool all right <clears throat> that's fine i actually played with a cane earlier today but this the patch isn't live yet so it's fine yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh all right that guy was bad all right anyways uh <laughs> lux passive illumination the magic damage uh base is going is unchanged but the ap scaling is actually up by five percent wow that's Interesting. I haven't seen that change in a while. Yeah. Um, all right. And then Q Luck Light Binding. The magic damage on that base is unchanged, and then the scaling up by 5% as well. So her Q and her passive get 5% uh, more AP scaling. There That's you go. Okay. Uh, Nami. Okay, some Nami changes here. So W, uh, Evan Flow. They are taking some scaling out of the ability damage so five percent scaling reduction that's 50 percent of your ap um and then also not at rank one but in the later ranks you're losing um five then 10 then 15 then 20 mm -hmm. damage overall so you lose some damage and some damage scaling um the healing is actually going up um nice. both at rank and scaling and then the bounce damage fall off uh the penalty is a little bit less severe um for the like wow, subsequent yeah. bounces so um it looks like they're trying to just push her more well like into a healing like enchanter support than people like really using the w for damage which i think is fine that's good yeah <laughs> and then uh e this is the lucian buff ability for all <laughs> you don't know. Um, they're just giving less magic damage on it. It looks like past rank 1. So it's down 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, so just a loss of damage like on her W and E, but up in healing on the W. So nice. Um, yeah, nothing good. too crazy. Yeah, it seems yeah. fun. All right. <clears throat> Nasus, passive soul eater. Ooh, we're getting dropped some buffs here. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> 1% up, uh, and then... 2% up and then 3% up. So nothing crazy, but get uh, more life steal. There you go. Sure, sure. Based on level, I think that's, I want to say that's 6. Wait, no. What? 1? One? 6, 11, maybe? I'm not sure. This is based on um, level, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Siphoning Strike, the Q. Uh, bonus physical damage uh, going up by 10 on base at all ranks. And then plus the Siphoning Strike stacks, of course. But yeah, just a little bit of a tiny bump, but nothing crazy. 
Um, <clears throat> I've been thinking about playing this guy again, but last time I played him, he was in support. And, uh, mm-hmm. Yep, same. I mean, same, same. to be honest, he should be even better now because, well, in some degrees, I guess, but uh, because now he also has Frozen Heart for cheaper than it used to be anyway. So, so, so true. Like the main thing. All right. Either way. <laughs> what do they got with Olaf? Olaf, uh, bonus monster damage is being mm-hmm. added to his Q. Um, so maybe trying to make him viable in the jungle. Um, really, he's been in top lane almost exclusively, but before, yep. uh, he was definitely a jungler. So they're adding monster damage to the Q. Um, they are upping how long the attack speed on his W lasts. And also upping the mana cost, so a bit of a trade-off there, but it lasts a full second longer. Um, the E cooldown reduction is also a jungle focus buff. So it used to be just one second per auto, and now it's going to be still one second per wow. auto, but if you auto a monster, it gives you two second cooldown reduction. So that's actually really big, I feel. That plus the attack speed buff on the W. That's pretty big. Yeah, and definitely. they're making... Uh, that's good. They're making Ragnarok cost mana, which, you know, I feel Honestly, like I didn't know they changed this to not cost mana, because it definitely used to. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, I think with these changes, they added a jungle-centric buff to, like, Q, W, and E, so I feel like yeah. we'll definitely be uh, able to jungle again. Yeah, for sure. That'd be pretty good, I think. We'll see. Or uh, blabber, also... if only, if only, the, <laughs> if only the buffs came in sooner. I know, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I think this also helps him get lower health in jungle as well, because yeah. of all the healing that he gets from his pet and stuff nowadays, it's a little bit harder. Yep. So you can clear yep. faster with the lower health, of course. So. Yeah, for sure. There you go. All right. Rek'Sai passive Fury, Fury of the Zersai. Fury gained from minions, wards, and plants was 12.5. Now it's only five, and then. Heal is was twelve to twenty percent of max HP based on level, and now it's ten to twenty percent of max HP. So a little bit of a nerf there early, but not but late game it's fine. Uh, but a little bit of nerfs actually. So interesting. I I hear um, she's good top. Yeah, that's what they're saying as yep. well. But um, yep. haven't really seen a whole lot of it yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll see it in pro. We'll see. <clears throat> yeah, we might. We we I think we might see it in. Uh... That'd be kind of cool. I think LCS kind of missed it, but I think we yeah. might see it in some other regions. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Uh, all right. Your girl. Let's see. <laughs> Rel. What has Rel got popping off now? They're giving her uh, more ma- magic resistance per level, so that's pretty good. Um, it's up to 2.05, um, so more magic resistance. Um, bonus. Okay, interesting. Bonus monster damage. Um removed from the Q. And then bonus monster damage removed from the W, bonus monster damage review removed from the E. So I don't know, can you scroll up a slightly? I don't know if um do they want to we go for 90% enjoy so we're ripping off the and removing all gels. Okay. Removing her secondary role from the game. Um okay so that's what I was, I was curious because reading the changes it seems like she yep. don't want her to jungle anymore. Um, yeah, and it looks like yeah, that is what they intend. So, um, well, there you go. R.I.P. Real Jungle. <laughs> yeah, basically they were just like, she's too good in in jungle, and if they want her to play, um, like her, if they want her to play as a support, they're gonna have to give her uh her buffs. More, but it's yeah. gonna make the jungle even stronger. So they're just removing the jungle part from the equation completely, and then they'll start bu- bu- uh, buffing or nerfing depending on what happens. Okay, well, that, that is a... Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I thought she was kind of an interesting jungler, so... Yeah, I thought she was pretty cool, but I do feel like she's fell, fallen off a little bit lately, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Either for way... Sure. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, a little bit sad, but it is what it is. I know uh, Freak was talking about, like... You know how Pantheon, they're, they're able to support him in like four roles, but just this champion doesn't is not quite the same to being able to do that. So, yeah, uh, yeah. there you go. All right, Sina, passive absolution, soul drop chance on allied support, um, minion kill. Wait, what? Soul drop on soul chance, allied support, minion kill. Mm, it's when, uh, it's when, uh, you're. I, I get it. It's when you're um, 
like lane buddy has the support item and executes a support minion. Oh, okay. Okay. So the drop chance is lower, I guess. Okay. Uh, okay. And then soul drop chance on minion kill went back from 2.8% to 8.4. Oh my gosh, they cannot figure it out. Uh, <laughs> thank goodness, though, because this is... It was... This is stupid. <laughs> yep. Uh, thank God. All right. Made Sina get... There's a bug that made Sina get the full drop chance from allied I, uh, support item executes. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right. Anyways, I'm glad this is buffed. That's all I care about. <laughs> yeah. no, that's good. That's good. All right. Good. Uh, so one patch after nerfing Smolder, <laughs> we've got some Smolder buffs. Um, armor is going up by two, and the bonus physical damage, uh, based on crit chance on the Q, is going up by twenty percent. It used to be zero to thirty percent. And nice. then now it's zero to fifty percent bonus damage, physical damage. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's fine. I mean, unless they, I, I feel like with the nerfs they hit him with, this isn't enough to make him like, OP again. Hopefully. Yeah, definitely not. But it helps for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Sona. So passive power cord staccato dam damage bonus uh, is now fifty percent. That's the Q bonus i'm pretty sure yeah, um, yeah, yeah and then q him of valor uh ally bonus magic damage uh let's see the base is unchanged and the ap scaling is down by 10 percent. so now it's only a total 10 percent of your mm -hmm. ap scaling for her q for the ally bonus magic damage uh not the not hers and not um not the aura i think or maybe that is the aura no that is the aura never mind yeah the aura the aura yeah, yeah, yeah. okay okay and then W Aria of Perseverance, heal uh, base unchanged, and then the AP scaling is up by double what it was. Now it's thirty percent from fifteen, okay. nice. which is good. And then E Song of Celerity, allied move speed. Oh, this is gonna be good for Earth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, allied move speed is was ten to fourteen percent, and now it's ten to eighteen percent based on rank. Okay. And then the AP scaling is unchanged as well. So nice little touch of bonus buffs there for Sona pretty much overall basically yeah um, so yeah there you go <laughs> the bear the, the bear. bear um let's see volley bear is i think they hit him with a nerf maybe last patch so let's see what they're doing in this patch uh crits only increase volley bears attack damage instead of total ability damage for the q Okay, and then the cooldown on his R is continuing to go. I think they, I think they increased this before, so they're increasing it again. I'm pretty sure. So now yeah. it'll be 160 <laughs> to 110 instead of 140 to 100. Um, again, I don't think it's like the end of the world because I don't know that he was using his alt at rank one. Like I don't think he was spamming it, but. Uh, I don't know. The, uh, eventually, these nurses will, will hurt them for sure because there's they'll stack up. Yeah, definitely. And uh, basically, for the context here, I'm pretty sure Sundered Sky worked on his Q, and not only did it uh... so because of the crit, it actually multiplied the base damage of the ability by in like a crit multiplier as well. Oh god, that's so. so toxic, yeah. yeah, it was it was pretty crazy apparently. So that's what was happening there. They're based, just removing that how that works. So. That's good. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the R nerf is really not great. I hate that. But yep, unlucky. <laughs> uh, Silas for our last champion on the list today. Uh, Q change la chain lash. Minion monster damage was 40%. Now it's 40% for minions and 70% for monast monsters. Oh. So you can you can jungle pretty good now. I think, <laughs> I think they're trying to spice up the jungle pool for MSI. <laughs> my like take that. on this patch i like this yeah. i think silas is silas and viego being on the same team was so broken but uh yes, yeah okay. silas jungle has always been really really strong i thought so yeah i like i like viego and silas as junglers because i feel like they get they're fun to watch from pro play and they're also yeah. they get a lot of use when they can roam around with their passive and like yeah. you know what i mean it's it just it seems like a good good, good spot for them super good yep 
All right, items. You can start us off on all these support stuff. Ah, uh, yes, the support. Let's see what they're doing this week. Uh, Z- <laughs> Zazal's Zazax Realm Spike, uh, is the AP damage one. Mm-hmm. Um, they are. I think they nerfed it once before, and they are going to nerf it even more. Um, so twenty base damage down to ten, and the max health damage is down a percent as well. Um, cooldown is also just a flat 10 uh, all, right. all the time. So that's like, yeah, that'll be a nerf early and then like a bigger nerf late. So, um, yep, that'll definitely hurt for sure. Um, this is a big reason Jana was like top tier support was because of her like abusing this item. So mm, gotcha. how, how that goes though. All right. Blood song spill blade ap or ad ratio was 150 percent now it's 100 percent. so just get your base yep. spell blade yep then mandate uh okay similar they just want to reduce the percent of hp damage so mm-hmm. that just like they nerf uh zack zack they're nerfing your own mandate which that was <laughs> actually that was like that's kind of a double like i would expect jana win rates to fall a lot because that was like the like the combo you would get realm spike online at the same time you got mandate and oh, you, were, yep. you would just like hit like a truck so um definitely she wasn't the only one who like abused that combo but she was like the main one so uh yeah that'll definitely nerfing those two items together will for sure uh you'll feel it definitely uh, Static Shiv getting nerfed by 200 gold, so it's going to cost 2,900 yeah. now and 20, instead of 2,700. Um, I don't know how you feel about this item, but I feel like it's it's not that good. <laughs> but everyone's no. building it like crazy, so I don't know. Yeah, it, I'll say it feels really good. It feels cool to shoot lightning now, but yeah, I feel definitely. Like it's not. It doesn't like do that much. I feel, but I don't know. I guess yeah. you're wrong. But I went back and like looked at the item from previous version as well, like the really one, the one that everyone loved and everything. And yeah. if you look at these actual stats, like this is just better, and the old version didn't even have AD in it, so yeah. But I don't know. It just I don't know. It feels like it does less damage than the old one. I feel like the old Might one one shot. Other life. items, like other items in the game, might yeah. just be better now. I'm not sure. I don't know. But yeah, either way. <clears throat> All right, World Atlas. Ooh. Okay. Um, they did hit World Atlas. This is the support quest item you start the game with um so they are we've seen a kind of double support items good um we're seeing okay cool so excessive minion kill threshold it used to be 20 minions killed in five minutes and you would get the uh uh gold like penalty so now it's 20 minions divided by the number of support items on your team in five oh, okay. minutes um okay okay cool so that's just them like stamping out it once and for all basically, basically. Um, <laughs> this would be 10 minutes over five minutes if two people have world alice seven over five if three people have it okay yeah so pretty straightforward but they're just really making sure no double or triple support items okay gotcha and then area balance changes if you want to read that feel free no damage taken on chogath what do you mean oh, lame <laughs> lame <laughs> Uh, all right, quick play updates. Uh, as a post launch follow PvP bundle, quick play bug fixes and quality of life improvements with a visual update. The key improvements are focused on predictability and usability. Predictability in this case means knowing that you're going to get into game with one of your selections. Far too many players found themselves on the loading screen with the wrong ruins. So runes which is a terrible way to start a match. We found that one reason this occurs is that selections made while in queue do not stick, so we made a a change to prevent it from happening in most cases. Another issue we track down is if a player has an invalid or incomplete rune page equipped, the system will assign them a different valid page. Our fix drives more awareness that there's an issue with your current rune page, so you can resolve it yourself. Uh, Larger hitboxes for the important choices. All right, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, pretty just, nice little bug fixes there, sort of. Yeah. Quality of life. <laughs> yep, Good. Yep, yep. All right, and then bug fixes and quality of life changes all are all here as well. Um, so there you go. Lots of stuff get there on as the, well. Get on to the cheese skins. <laughs> all right, so we got uh, Durian Defender Ramus. Oh, oh, that guy's cute. 
What is that? <laughs> Interesting. It's like root for a. What is that? I want. Uh, it's not a pineapple, but it kind of looks like a pineapple. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a durian. Probably. I think that's actually a fruit. Oh, that's okay. Why he's, yeah. Yeah. That yeah, makes yeah. sense. <laughs> but he's a durian defender. All right, and then Choo Choo Orin, which I think is super cool. <laughs> Yeah, that's the star of the. That's the star of the. It looks good. He's got a freaking wrench as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then uh, Cheddar Chief Twitch slash Zesty <laughs> Dip Zach. <laughs> okay. Those look pretty wacky. And then uh, Toy Terror Choga. That looks kind of cool. I kind of want to look at this one later. Uh, yeah. Go squin squin spotlights or something. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, yeah, actually, yeah. a little bit of a thing here as well. Got all your chromas and how they look in the actual game. Um. Twitch one looks pretty good. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Toy Terror Choga looks kind that's of wacky. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> the Skarner one as well. Nice. And then Zesty Dip Zach. It's got the, the chips on the arms. I like that. That's the best part yep. for sure. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, other than that, that's it for the patch rundown this week. We actually got it done pretty quickly. 26 yeah, minutes. Yeah, this wasn't, uh, wasn't too much in this patch. It wasn't too big, yeah. yeah. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you in a couple of weeks for the next one. Uh, we'll probably do, be doing some more LCS stuff if you're uh, interested in that. So look forward to that. Catch you later. Peace.